Greetings, fiends, darklings, and other random humans who have chosen to join me on this slightly not epic journey down to Cornwall. I'm not a vlogger. I don't profess to be a vlogger. I am not actually set up to be a vlogger, but the other half has decided we really ought to record and document what we're doing with our house move and the money pit that we're about to purchase. So first of all I'm going to apologise because in the background we have got Jamie and Sharba rattling on and I really should have turned that off before I started. So anyway, the point being that we are almost at the point of sale, purchase, 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 because we are not by no, start that again. We're not selling a house, we were renting. Um, and you'll have to forgive me because I'm feeling a bit spotty. I've got a cold sore. Um, and all of this is to do with stress. But the point being that um, we have nearly packed the house up. And for those of you that know us, um, there was a hell of a lot of books in that bookcase. It was double stack, double depth. Um, and at some point in the future, you'll actually get to see what we actually had. Um, the place does look like a bomb has gone off and I really don't know what else I'm doing. Um, if we, maybe if we do that and get out into the hallway, you can see that, oh my God, that, that's just the lounge. Um, let's pop upstairs. You're not gonna see the bedroom. We've gotta keep some secrets here. Um, I, and I suppose this is kind of an accountability thread. Edmund Blair Layton, I think, I can't remember. Maybe not one of my favourite paintings. And I should remember who it is. Um, we do have a bit of a... A bit of a hair thing going on. <laughs> and a hair thing going on. Um, this is my office craft room. General hellhole. Um, not using it as much as I used to. Really shiny head. And... The shelves where it says, yes, that's a World War II helmet. World War One. And, again, mostly packed up, but still looking a little bit of a mess. It's got to that kind of end of the road, nearly at moving point. Mm, you can wait till you see this one. Nearly at moving point where the house is full of a lot of little bits and pieces. And the the baby bat, except she's not really a baby bat anymore. Uh, at this point I should add that we've taken about four van loads down to Cornwall with us. So this is a really, really short vlog. I'm going to sit on the stairs. Um, not least because then you won't hear what's going on with Jamie and Sharba downstairs. I think they're talking weddings. Um, so yeah, we are about to embark on a major project, a complete change in our lives. We are moving further away from family and friends. The reason we're going down that far is because we can't afford to buy where we live. It's house prices up here are astronomical. We're that typical sandwich generation. We are both from marriages that have or relationships that didn't go quite so well. Um, we don't have a property to sell. Having said that, though, we managed to get ourselves a property that is um, actually not bad for the money. OK, it's a money pit. <laughs> I think we even have to replace the roof on this one at some point. But the house has three bedrooms, it's semi-detached, it's actually got off-road parking, which in the area we're moving to in Cornwall is like gold dust. It's got a yard rather than a garden, but um, it is accessible from the front of the house, also like gold dust. Um, and it's a blank canvas for us to work from. We're about three miles from the sea. We have a pub sort of diagonally opposite the house. We have a pub just around the corner from the house which is really bizarre because we don't tend to go to the pub very often. Um, <laughs> and just about 50 yards from our front door, there's a corner shop where we can pick up the papers, milk, wherever we need. And there's even a little post box outside. And there's a bus that runs from where we live. It starts further down the road in Penzance, 
that runs from where we live through town and into Truro. So we're about to start this amazing adventure and whilst I've not documented the first part of it, the house hunting, the putting the offer, the starting to pack the house up, we're now at the point where it's almost happening. This Friday, in two days time, we should, all being well and good, touch wood, all being well and good, we should complete and then we will own our first house together. Now David and I have been together about nine years and it's it's a it's a step forward finally it's a step forward um little miss b multi junior is um she's now at uni she's at uni in exeter and uh, she will be sort of joining us for some of this journey um i don't know quite yet how she's going to feel about appearing on camera so she may do she may not she's a little bit camera shy she's a bit sick of me taking photos i'm definitely the sort of person who normally takes photos rather than video not overly keen on seeing myself on film but this is kind of important to David and it's kind of important to me that we actually follow our journey for the next sort of 10-15 years and I don't know how often I'm actually going to be able to do this and how often I'm going to remember to vlog things but this coupled with a lot of photos is going to make a big difference now watch join us press the subscribe button wherever it may be on this screen around here um, hit the little notification bell I do have uh, an Instagram so maybe I'll start using that a little bit more um, I have never done this before so this is all a growing journey and on top of all of that I don't profess to be a goth I am definitely more on the heavy metal side of goth I would say I'm in the heavy metal boat with my hands training in goth waters um, one or two of my friends would definitely agree with me on that. I am going to put my hand up here and say we are a pagan family. We are not religious, um, but we do have our own belief. And the three of us can really see it. Power of three. This is going to be an interesting journey. So you're going to see all sorts of random things. You're going to see... Um, uh, lifestyle you're going to see you're not going to see fashion out of me I am not, but I might be able to get little Miss B to get herself involved and, yeah more to junior um, see if she would well she just <sighs> oh to be young again um, under size 12 so that's enough rambling for me good night fiends good night darklings and good night random humans I'm sure there's a few of you out there and like, comment, subscribe, um, don't be mean if you haven't got anything nice to say, don't bother saying anything at all because you're just not going to get a reaction out of me. I really don't give monkeys. Good night.